Live. Hold on, man. I'm back with my man, Al Stasic. Dude, it is so good to see you again. How you doing, brother? Hey, Mike. Man, I'm excited to come down and see y'all. I'm uh, just coming off a great holiday weekend. I was up in New York City, saw a little U.S. Open with my family, and uh, coming off a great holiday weekend, and I'm looking forward to coming down to my uh, my friends in Dayton and seeing my friends in Dayton. So. Well, that's great, man. I've been talking about a huge announcement for the past couple days, and uh, I brought you on. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, what people can expect. This is really a big opportunity, I think, for agents to come in and learn and grow, uh, and it could not come at a better time, man. I've been doing some posts over the last couple weeks. Uh, our, our, our market is a really good marketplace, or so it seems. The reality of it is about 70% of agents didn't make any money last month, though, and when we talk about your class and the positioning of your class is like right now we're going into, you know, maybe a time where the market starts to soften a little bit. Yeah. There's 4,600 agents in our local marketplace and about 1,600 got a paycheck last month. And so we know some agents who are out there hurting and they don't know what to do, man. They just don't know what to do. How do they stand out in, in, in all the noise, man? And that, that's what I want you to talk about. Yeah. So, I mean, I've been um, two weeks ago, I just, I just celebrated my 21st anniversary having a real estate license. And so for, for the, for the 1600 agents down there, I think, is that what you said that didn't get a paycheck? Six, only, there's 4,600 agents, 1600 are only got a paycheck. So there's over 3000 did not get a paycheck. Yeah. So those 3000, if, if you're one of those 3000, I can tell you this, I've been there. I've had a month where I didn't see a paycheck and it's painful. You know, it's especially painful if, you're relying on the income you make from commissions to pay your bills, to make sure that the house payment's done, the, the, the lights are on. And, and, um, and I mean, I know that my first year and a half, I leaned into another job that I actually hated uh, just to make ends meet until I could get a couple in escrow where I made the jump. So anybody that, that goes in and, and dives in with both feet in and says, look, I'm burning the boats, I'm going all in on this. I, uh, I tip my hat to you because it's 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 brave, but the problem that this unless you're sitting on a whole bunch of cash, it's extremely hard to get off that roller coaster of one month that's really good. I got you know my aunt, my uncle, my my mother-in-law, father-in-law. Somebody gave me some referrals, but then those go away the next month, and it's not a consistent stream of income. Yeah, this is what I ran into consistently until we figured. I mean, 2010 was really the eye-opening year for me. I met Jay Kinder and Mike Reese. Um, I scraped as much money as I could off the credit card to, to, to get down <laughs> to one of their events. And my eyes were open. And I think the biggest, and looking back, the biggest aha that I had was that they said these words. They said, it's not the best realtor who's going to win the game. It's the best marketer. Yeah, yeah. And when I heard those words, it changed the whole game forever because I never was a student of marketing. I just, I was just trying to be the best agent that I possibly could and serve my clients at the highest level, which is great. That should be just, that, that should be everybody's standard anyway. And there's a lot of great agents that are listening to this, that are part of that 3000 that know how to write a contract. They know how to represent their buyers, their sellers. They know how to, you know, negotiate a good contract their biggest problem is none of those things it's how to acquire their next contract how to yeah. acquire their next client and how to do that consistently without trying to spend all this money on zillow leads and buying leads now look i've bought leads you've bought leads i've spent i mean in upwards of twenty thousand dollars a month in buying leads at one point yeah and we've we've cut back on that man i would say 90% of that budget is now cut back and we spend it on other things for our agents. And the reason was, is because we, 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 we developed a content strategy that attracts business to us while building the agent's brand, because it doesn't matter what, what company you're flying, the brand you're, you are the brand, Mike yeah. wall, you're the brand, every one of your agents and your team, they are the brand because they control the consumer experience when somebody steps in and wants to, buy a house through you or they step in and, and give you a listing and, and want you to take, take the marketing to the next level and negotiate a good sale for their, their home so that they can get moved. The experience comes from who's face to face with those people. And that's the real estate agent. It's not EXP, Keller Williams, Remax, Prudential, Berkshire Hathaway, all great companies, 
but they don't control the experience of that consumer. It's us as the agents, which therefore that means we're the brand. Yeah. And so what we've, what we've developed is a, a paint by number, step by step process that any real estate agent that comes and sees us, I'm going to teach it all. I'm literally going to give all the things away that I've done to build three different companies to over $3 million in annual revenue. You're going to get it all. And we'll have maybe a little time. If we have time at the end, we'll do a little Q and a, but you're going to walk out of there with literally deployable action steps that they can take out without having to spend any money, without having to rip their credit card and spend money on all this, these leads or any of that. They're going to have the, the, what we, what Mike Reese calls is the handles to the luggage is what I'm going to give you so that you guys can uh, start building your brand and start building a business and, and, and become really the expert go-to person in your market. Yep. And the reason why I wanted to have you on is because I am a testimonial that this works. Like we were there last year, the, 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 the event sold out. It was standing room only in the back and you crushed it. And we are, we are using some of those exact strategies in our business today. And so my hope is that, you know, those 3000 agents who did not receive a paycheck, you know, they're watching this, they're listening to this because they, I know there are a few of you who want to grow. I, I just know there are. And, and, and it is Al and I's hope that this video will reach you and that you will show up because from what I, from what I know is, is it's, we're, we don't, no one has to bring a credit card, right? I mean, this is, this no. is free and we're not selling it. You're not selling anything, right? Nope. Nope. There's no, uh, you know, a lot of times these events and, and they're free events and um, at the end you're waiting for the, uh, all right, you start hanging on to your wallet because they're going to be asking me to buy a technology or buy leads or buy a coaching, um, you know, program. And, and there's nothing wrong with that, by the way, that those, those are great ways of look, it's an exchange for value, right? But yeah, there's going to be no need for a credit card, leave your money at home, just bring a, a, a sharp pencil and some notes. We're going to, um, we're going to go through not only just the content strategy on a high level, we're going to go down low and talk about exactly the top three videos that you should be shooting to get the most engagement, to get the most exposure in your particular market so that those, 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 those can go viral and start, you, you know, look, the, I think the goal is this. When I, when I walk into a grocery store in my town and I, I'm, I, I'm bound to see people, some of them know me, I don't know them. It's because I'm a marketer. I've been in front of them. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's that guy that sells houses. That's the goal. Because when, when someone's thinking of selling their house, you want to be the name that pops into their head. You want to be the face that pops into their head. And I'm going to be teaching you the exact ways that I was able to do it so that you can leave there and go do it. Now, you can do this on a zero budget. That's the fun part. So if you got no money, I feel you. Show up. Take some notes. You're going you're gonna to be able to leave there um, with, with, the, with the tools that you need to do it with no money. If you have a small budget, you can even get better results. And I'll, I'll teach you exactly how to spend a very little bit of money um, in you know, the right way to boost an ad, what not to do, how to write the right copy. There is so much involved. And I, I have to tell you, Mike, and I know that you've spent money on high-level coaching. I currently have a coach that charges $1,000 per hour. That is not a lie. And I'm going to tell you, he's worth every penny of it because this is the, these, the guys that I coach with spend – spend time with people who have spent billions on Facebook ads, not millions, literally billions of yeah. dollars in Facebook ads. And so when you learn from the guys that are spending big money, like money that you can't screw up on, you're going to get the right content. You're going to get the right direction and the right steps in the right direction so that you can do the right thing in the right order. So man, that's what I'm bringing Monday. I'm actually coming down Sunday after the Browns game. I'm going to come down, you know, obviously early cause it's a bit of a drive. Yeah. So, uh, Monday, where are we at? The Dayton Area Board of Realtors, yes, sir. which is an amazing facility, by the way. Hats off to you guys in Dayton. Um, I mean, I love my Cleveland Area Board up here. It's actually called uh, Akron Cleveland Board, but we don't have a room that's set up legit as yours. That is, that is impressive. So, are you uh, the McLaren? Say that. Are you bringing the McLaren? <laughs> yeah, no, I, uh, I don't think that that that's going to make the the trip to uh, to Dayton. That's, <laughs> I don't think it's built for, for a couple hundred miles. Yep. In all seriousness, no. You know, I think that for, like, for, for, for me, and, and, you know, you talked about in, in, in your launch video about the difference between chasing and attracting business. And the, the biggest impact that it had for me and my business and, and those who are on our team is that, you know, I, I was a grinder, man, for years. I mean, I built my business off grinding the telephones on expireds and for sell by owners. 
And I can tell you, man, in, in almost every situation, when you go in on a listing appointment, you're competing against two, three, four agents at a time. And what's changed for us now with this new video content strategy is that a lot, a lot of times, like when we show up to the listing appointment, they're ready to list. And we're the only one they're interviewing because we, we, we have that, we have that credibility. We've, we've created that influence in our marketplace. Yeah. Well, the reason that that's happening, I'm going to take a wild guess as to why that happens. And it's probably because you're working the for sale by owners and expireds differently. Number one, you're hitting them before they're even ready to talk to you because you have the, your content is out there into the marketplace and you're targeting them without them knowing. I'm going to show exactly how everyone can do that. You're going to, you're not, you're going to leave there and you're not going to work for sale by owners and expireds the same way ever again, yeah. guaranteed. And I, I mean, that's entirely up to you if you want to, but at least you're going to, you're going to have the knowledge and the tools to work those, those types of leads differently. Yeah. Number two, when you walk in there, they already know who you are because you've put good content in front of them. So when, when you're, when you're building a content strategy, what you're building is an asset. And when you go and buy Zillow leads, you're not building an asset, nor are you building your brand. You're just buying a lead. Now I'm not saying that you can't make money off that. We've been profitable off of Zillow for years, mm -hmm. but it's, if you could, if you could build a steady stream of people who already know, love and trust you, Am I back? Yeah, you're back, brother. So if you, if you have a, a steady stream of, of, of clients calling you, wanting to do business with you before you even know who their name is, I think that that would be the goal of everybody. I mean, if, if everyone could build a sustainable business and a consistent business without having to spend all that money on Zillow, I don't know anybody who would raise their hand and not want to do it. Yep. Now, that's not to say that you should just cut it off and not, not you know, whatever's working for you right now, make it work for you. But this is something that you can put in place that's going to be you're going to be building assets so then when you talk to people, you can send them those assets. You're always going to have those assets. And so, yeah, we're going to be going over those strategies. It's going to be so much fun. I added a bunch. So if you actually came last year, um, you're going to – there's a whole – about, I would say, a third to a half of what we're going to go over is actually new content that I didn't even uh, have because we're constantly iterating on our processes and our strategies as well. So we're bringing some fresh stuff to you. Yeah, dude, no doubt, man. I can't wait. You you brought the house down last year and, and there's no doubt the event will sell out. Al, where can people go to sign up or register? Yeah, what, what we can do is uh, put the link right into the bottom. Um, I, I think you, you have the link, right? For the, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, the, to the funnel. Yeah, um, and I'll post it in here uh, yeah. after we're done. Okay, yeah. I would post it in the comments. Um, is, is this on your personal page where we're going on this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So post it in the comments so that we don't get... Uh, the Facebook algorithm, which is another thing I'm going to teach you guys, like how to post properly. A lot of people I see posting, you know, um, links inside the, the, um, on the, in the copy area. And I'll just tell you guys this, we're going to go over it when I come down next week, but you don't want to do that because Facebook don't like it when you send people off of Facebook. So there's a little tricks and things that we're going to teach you guys on how to keep people engaged and keep, keep the algorithm of Facebook working in your favor versus against you. Dude, I cannot wait, brother. I will see you on Monday morning, man. I appreciate y'all having me down there. I'm like waiting to see you, Dayton. Thank you. All right, brother. Take care. See ya. Bye-bye.